And you came. That's what matters. He heals the most deep of the cuts. Oops. Trying to not touch the poisoned blood that he saw the person get like begin to be weakened from like the wound sort of growing green or something. And the wounds just start festering. They won't close. They're not gonna survive. <laughs> like, uh, they probably are. Last for six rounds. I think it's more than six con, but you might it might take him like a week to get back on his feet. I, their saves was so bad. Mine isn't awesome. Yeah, our saves aren't that good, honestly. Like I, I would like you're, you're to just, fail. You, you're just used to crazy overpowered level I, twenty saves. I, I can't point. consistently make a sixteen four to save. Or fourteen. Or for my sake. And so you continue traveling south, I assume. Mm -hmm. Now with the sun definitely having risen about, uh, above the horizon, you eventually do spot a, well, really what was described, a, a small hill with a rather large tree on top of it. it. It's outside of the forest, kind of away from every other kind of vegetation, so it's incredibly easy to spot. Let's not linger here. It seems like our dragging this cargo with us might have made our trail more visible. You think? She looks at the Tyraxes. The dogs are coming! I suppose we're at the morning of day seven then, yeah? Uh, yes. Yes, you would be. Good. Wonderful. As now, where's the super obvious person? Uh, you will see in a moment as I reveal Pink the neon uh, hat. It, you know, the, us running through tall grass and a dog barking, it just makes me think of a uh, fox and the hound. Do it like this. We used to be friends. Yeah, we used to be friends. Now we ate the dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now we ate the dog, yes. <laughs> Oops. So you eventually arrive at the rather strange formation and see very little. Oh, there. Oh yeah, I should probably center you. There we go. I'll, I'll be right back. Free. I wonder if it's going to immediately look, gonna immediately look, immediately look around, see if there's anyone hiding in the tree. You know, roll me a perception check. Because if, because if I was playing an average, hiding inside the tree is clearly where you would do it. There are ten people hiding in the tree. At least... <laughs> Does I want to think there's ten people in the tree? Actually, <laughs> no. Um, I mean, if there, are, if I would have more explored those ten people in the tree, then you, then yeah, certain things would happen. How many people are there in the trees? There is no one in the tree. Uh, is anyone hiding? There is no one hiding in the tree. Well, we're here. Are they behind the tree? Did I just cross up the hill? Looks around the tree. As you... I'm going to wait for Manica to come back. Yes, we should wait. Because as you approach the tree, something does happen. Uh-oh. Yeah, well, to you, not to this us. Is, this is why you don't directly <laughs> approach the tree. This is why you suffer it. Fool! You have approached it, God, the tree. Now uh, suffer the consequences. If yeah, Morlix was here alone, he'd be doing this. Woman's face for some Morlix would like, suck it like five times, make sure there's no tr nothing there. Well, the tree has a woman's face? Yeah. Oh. Freaky. What? You're like a well. hunter. Oh no, no, it's it's really just a tree. Yeah, what kind what of tree? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of tree? That would be a knowledge nature. Sure, I can do that. This is important information to work out. Like, why are the leaves green even though it's autumn? It's a pine tree. It is, in fact, an ash tree, as oh. it is the ash wood. It's got green leaves. Imagine Ironbox suddenly it does have green thinking, leaves. Oh my god, that's why it's called the Ashwood. Is Manica back yet? This striking no. realization. Makes yeah. sense. Yeah. I mean, even that was a forest full of ash. But it might be. We don't know. It's a fantasy world. It might actually be a forest made of ash. I mean, Not I guess like if it got burned down by a red dragon, that makes... trees. I mean, if it got attacked by a red dragon, then it'd be covered in ash. 
if a green dragon owns the forest, it's not going to be attacked. But what? It could have been attacked before the green dragon arrived. Sure, but then a green dragon wouldn't be care to look at the ashwood. Maybe it wants to regrow the ashwood. Back. All right. As you approach the tree, you hear a rather high-pitched voice addressing you, saying, Oh no, it's you again! What are you doing here? Go away, I'm waiting for some very important guests. Wait, what? You don't see where it's coming from, but it is very familiar. No! It is a damn... It's back. It's back. With you around, they won't come. They'll probably be scared and run off because you hey, are pretty scary. Why did you just disappear somewhere? I well, we are waiting for some very important guests as well. Well, that's going to be awkward. Or rather, someone we're waiting for is expecting us. Why would you choose this place to meet? I've we chosen this place to be meet. The place. By who? By the guard. By... Why would the guard want you to meet want to meet you on this hill? He said there was someone we had to meet. It was Wint Vincent. I had to maul him, but Vincent told you to come here? What? Yes. Oh no. But I I was told there would be five. You're just four. I was told there would be blue and green and blue and green and white. That's five. I <laughs> It seems that I count for two. No. Being both blue and green. He meant that there was going to be a blue and green. Yeah, there is blue and green and blue and green and white. Mm, the writer nods. I think so. If you observe, the scales are, well, bluish. And uh, he sort of waves <laughs> Ida Vox over. Making a scale. Oh, don't put it there. On the other side. <laughs> yep. As you can clearly see. That makes no sense. It makes perfect sense. Well, not like to me. Adding, adding two and two. He doesn't believe in math. You get, you get four. Time the four. How tall is this tree? It is rather tall and rather big. It is probably quite easy for something small to hide in there. Regardless, I suppose the logical conclusion is that we are your guests, and you should behave like a host. I should, shouldn't I? I mean, the lady would be very disappointed if, you, if I couldn't get you there. Think of a bad review it would give you. It would. I mean, I wasn't supposed to meet you in the first place, it's just that Vincent is missing, and well, now I have to do it. <laughs> I hope that you're as, well, Disappointed in this as I am. I am delighted. If you were anyone else, I oh, we would have so much fun together. But now let's, you're just going to ruin everything. Let's take the right again. way home, shall we? I always point out the right way. Good My day. right way, anyways. Let's not linger. I mean, you do know that if I hadn't met you when you went into the forest, you would probably got lost and. Probably died eventually, yes? A fine host wouldn't point that out. Well, I'm not a fine host, all right? I'm a host, as it were. I'm just <laughs> saying that... Or an a-hole. <clears throat> I'm just saying that one could argue that, that you do have a rather significant debt to me. But you did lead us into rats. It was the only way out in that direction that you specified. You could have gone slightly around the rats. I could have, but it wouldn't have been the direct way. And you they wanted that, me. I do believe. You know, they do that. They are rats. Yes. I didn't bite you. I know, I you really bite out. me. Really, your mouth. You I mean, outsource the biting. <laughs> you really are rather rude, all of you, aren't you? Some would say so. Most would say I'm a delight. Well, I'm not one of those. But if you really, really force me to just bring you straight to the lady, I suppose I'll have to. Although she too will be rather disappointed. I will. I will take a roll now to, to have to bully this creature. All right. 
Uh, one second, let me close the window. I I passed. You don't have to bully the creature. Does it still count? <laughs> I mean, you could have chosen to fail the save as well, but... No, there wasn't a save, though. And I can never choose to fail the save, I, I roll. Yeah. So... You, 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 you're basically have forced yourself to be not bullying now. But uh, the, the strike continues. All right. I mean, I could leak your strike to the lady, but she too will be very disappointed. You see, she told me to test you, to, to find out what you're like. You know, Vincent was supposed to be the one actually meeting you here and then bringing you to the lady, and he would have probably just asked you some questions. But mm, I, I'm sure Vincent would be able to explain to you why that is a bad idea and why we should be taken directly. Didn't, though. I mean, we didn't talk at all after he, well, just disappeared. Exactly. So, you really want to just take the straight way and be rude like that? I suppose we could call this some again. Let's look at the others. They'd be fun. Tyraxus has his jaws clamped shut. You see, his, like he's grinding his teeth. Spark fun is good. I do like fun. But I'm not so sure my companions here. He sort of does a loud whisper. They can be a little rude sometimes. I just don't want you to have another accident like last time. I would love to do this. Uh, does Tilraxus see ones. the sprite up in the tree? You can roll a perception check. To try to search for it. No, neither of you see it. At 27? <laughs> you don't see the sprite. Which gives him plus 20. And then 40 for sitting still. It was a 19! So that's like, you have to hit like a 70, perhaps. <laughs> Just realistically, like, a, an invisible flying thing some somewhere above a tree. It's hard to see. I mean, it is quite disappointing that you are the only one who would agree to my fun. Because, you know, the lady actually taught me a secret word to encourage you to do what I say. It's quite handy, I think, but I have no reason to use it now, I suppose. How about you others? Are you sure you don't want to listen to your companion and enjoy my fun here? Why would the lady give you a word to control us? Well, not control you, just encourage you, I mean. That is the same thing. I mean, the thing is, if you don't go through with my fun, then it's going to be very awkward because I was supposed to find out what you're like, and if I tell the lady now what I think about you, then that's not a very good impression. Rakayax, I am sorely tested right now. It has been a long walk. We met some people who wanted us yeah. dead on the way, and, and I... Don't know if I can contain my companion much longer from burning this tree down. So I am doing my best for you here, Mr. Guide. And I am sorely disappointed in not seeing this fantastical adventure you have for us. But perhaps it will have to wait to some other time. Mm. Where they may be in a better mood. Oh, but I made it especially for you. You know... Just in case we met again. Now here we are and you don't want to. I mean, my puzzles even have <laughs> solutions now. Think about that. I don't do that for anyone. That would be an upgrade, I suppose. But he sort of looks to, to his side. To like sort of, sort of, I guess like like chewing like a yes. rock. Like uh, he is like, falling he, down a like he is tense and taut. Like you see him... He, he is tense up. His, his, his jaws are just, you know, he's grinding his teeth and his claws are just digging into the earth and he his eyes are they don't look happy <laughs> he looks up at him and says but mr you i'm sure you can see it yourself that he is not in a mood to be amused he eats sand you know and that gives some terrible cramps sometimes. <laughs> i'm sure you would understand if you tried it but, but maybe my puzzles will amuse him I know so they I, do amuse me. I don't think it is a good idea to continue with this line of thought. Maybe we should just 
maybe we should just go and and we can talk to the lady about it. I'm sure I'm sure she would be interested in hearing about the stomach cramps. I don't think so. I mean, then, if you want to make a bad first later. impression, I don't think I want to. But if you want to make a bad first impression, then sure, I'll just lead you straight there. If I have to. Do I have to? Sadly, it seems so. It seems so, huh? Teraxos looks up at him and says, between gritted teeth, uh, What is the Tasso sprite? Oh, that's a good question. If you want to follow me, I'll show you. Tax was slightly surprised. You know, he's just looking very angry. <laughs> As he looks around. Why don't you tell us the puzzle here? It's a puzzle, not a riddle. I don't do riddles. You totally did a riddle before. So you're going to delay us for who knows how long just for you to have your fun. That's a pause, then. What would the lady think about that? Oh, well, apparently you know the lady better than I do at this point, which is weird because you don't even know who she is or what she is, but well, whatever suits you. And you do. Well, I've lived here all my life. She I mean, might be one of his kind. If you just want to go straight to her, then you, you'll just have to tell me directly. To, to Rexos. No. Do we speak in Draconic, by the way, or in Common? The sprite is speaking in Common. Okay. Then to Rexos, like, hisses in Draconic too. To the others. But do you think it is a good idea? We'll do it. But if I see that creature, I might not be able to control myself. Says, what else are we going to do? Back to the kobolds. I am intrigued at who would set us free. And who would send this thing? I am intrigued as well. Morning is clearly listening though, not really saying too much. Okay, suspicious about this entire situation. Fine, let's let's do the damn puzzle. He didn't really? say he, he didn't he didn't say we had to beat it. I mean it's either that or you just move along. Just just let's let's just move and get away from Okay, there's no problem with doing the puzzle. I, I don't like the T-Rexes don't want to do the puzzle. He would much rather just go and get this over with. But if Rakaix thinks it's a good idea, he seems like a smart dragon. He would he would Rakaix is okay it. with seeming like he wants to do the puzzle. Like he doesn't actually need to do it to to get what he wants. We could see the puzzle and then just go away and say, nah, nah, we're fine, take us to the lady. Does the puzzle involve any of us getting hurt? I mean, not unless you do it very wrong. But then, I mean, you can get hurt doing everything. So, yes. The Rexus shakes his head. I have had it up to my horns with this sprite's talking. I'll put it like this. None of the puzzles require you to hurt yourselves to finish them, then they, they wouldn't be puzzles. Then they would just be silly. What does... what does... Avonix and uh, Anavox think? Anavox is just gnawing and climbing the tree. 
she's really bored. She just wants to go. So what do you think, Ida? I just want to go. I'm tired of puzzle like, or no. I don't care. I don't like puzzles. You like wait, puzzles? wait, wait. If it's a brain teaser, then maybe. Is it a thinking puzzle? I mean, if you don't think, you'll die because you can't not think unless you're dead. Oh, let's just go. Uh, Volnix? Looks up, at the, looks up at the tree. Still with a bit of a growl in him. I still don't know if I like the idea of this thing being around, but it sounds possibly amusing. It just looks like I talked him into it. Let's go to the puzzle. Oh, excellent. I do like you, I think. So yeah. not, and gives it a smile, whatever, wherever it might be, he guesses. Well, as sort of as in you the say middle. That, that you agree, you do see him shoot out of the tree and go this way. We, we, we should agree that whenever there's an S in our word, we have to go long on the S because of the dragon's tongue. But I'm a much more articulate one. So, convenience. I will move Let's you Let's do this. Move him as well. He's not actually in between you. I'm just doing this so it's convenient to Thank him! <laughs> we were. Can I break you? Does he have? Wait, is he still wounded? Uh, he's oh, not boy. supposed to be. He hasn't healed himself. Without magical healing, he would be. He right? is not wounded. I mean, I mean I, we've, had, we've had more than a number of days of damage we don't. I suppose. So, um, are we he all... might not be the only ones. Think about that. We all gonna do the, the, the S thing? Mm, probably not. Aww. What you, what you see here is indeed five stumps, each having a pool of water in the middle, ranging I... from absolutely crystal clear to somewhat muddy. That's... And as you enter the glade, you see, uh, you hear his voice, rather, reciting the following. Gifts of five by gift to thee, drink them quick and then go free. Strong of body you must be. Blessed be you should you succeed. Could you repeat that? That's a riddle. <laughs> hmm. Gifts of five I gift to thee. Drink them quick and then go free. Strong of body you must be. Blessed be you should you succeed. It's a riddle. This is not a puzzle. It being said that we have to drink all the water at the same time. And that the one who uh, drinks the dirty water might have a bad time on this their strong body. I think I should drink this water. Why? Because I'm not very strong body. He gestures to his, he's sort of being smaller than all the others. It's embarrassing, I know. But <laughs> well, I have come to terms with it. Well, I do eat a lot of poison every day. And there is acid in my system. I think Jorakos should drink the dirtiest water. I agree. I'm assuming you recite it to our ball next. Yeah. He, yeah. He, will, he, will, he, will, he will give a sniggering agreement to that. You have to drink dirty water quickly. It, it doesn't rhyme in Draconic, though. It's true. It's true. Our ball next misses it completely. The rhyme, but... What what was the it again? I will just post it in chat. Okay. If we must drink them all, we have a problem. Well, he did. Must we drink them all? Yeah. We are only four, after all. But there's five. Why wouldn't you drink all of them? Well, that one is dirty. I mean, one of you can drink all of them, or one of you can drink two pools. You don't even have to drink all of the pool, just just a sip. All right, then. Uh, I will next for you drink those two. Who? I think I will next to drink those two. I know next? I will next. Oh, okay. Leave that for the blue. He enjoys water. Yes. Right. Well, Jarex said he would go along with us. So I guess we tell him that this will be f we're faster if he drinks the two, those two pools. Mm -hmm. 
I'll, I'll move him there, but I'm not. Gonna, I I would suggest waiting for Jonas. <laughs> oh. Well, we just say that the blue has to. Well, Jonas, you've to... turned into a mudworm for six days now. I mean, Jonas does have the highest constitution in the party. He does. Oh, Can't by see one point. Tokens. He's one point higher than me. But Sprite did say that it was not going to hurt us. How much no. con do you have? It's a logic puzzle. You want to see if we're logical. I mean, this, this seems too straightforward. <laughs> Let's see if. It's stupid. Was there anything in the pool, Sheep? There's water ranging from crystal clear to somewhat muddy. Anything in the water, though? Uh, some like bits of gravel in the more muddier pools, but no <laughs> actual objects. Uh, cheap. Chat says I should just freeze the pools over. So you could. can't drink them. Like you smack him and then eat it. Eat a frozen ice. I could, I could eat an ice cube. <laughs> Does it smell <laughs> like good water? Uh, the crystal clear pool smells like crystal clear water. Does it? Does it? Does it seem to be the same kind of water he makes? Uh, I mean, not the identical water, I would assume, but it's basically, you'd think, just pure water. Why don't you just clean it with your water spell? Because then it's not the same water. Doesn't you could just spill it all out, but that wouldn't do anything. There might be magic in this water. Come on, just one yes. of you take a sip. It's not that dangerous. You said we had to do it quick. So we all have everything. to do them quickly at the same time. I mean, it's more entertaining if you do it one after the other. And you should have made the rhyme different. I'm not very good at these rhymes, all right? I was pretty proud of that one, and yet... If just, you could you know, do that one again, what would it be? It didn't even rhyme in Draconic. If I would do the rhyme again, I would say, uh, Gifts of five, drink them, and then leave. All right. Well, uh, Tulaxa, because you seemed so angry before, we let you have two. Apparently these are magical gifts that we should drink. Why should I have the two green ones? Shouldn't that go to a <laughs> uh, box? Shouldn't have I the most blue one, then? Oh, well, maybe that I mean, I mean those, those over there do have some sand in them, I believe. We thought that you were the uh, strongest of body, as it said. Tulaxa looks into them. Do they seem to have sand in them? Uh, like little bits and pieces, some sand, grains, some gravel, small rocks. Anyway, we have to drink them all in quick succession. So, I count to three. One, two, what? three. What? <laughs> Why do we <laughs> have to we drink all, these? We all, because he said that it's a five gifts you've given us, and we have to drink them quickly, and then we go free. Uh, we must be strong of body. So it's and poison. We, we, we are blessed if we succeed. But he said also that it won't hurt us. So. Cheap. Yeah. Do we have to drink all I, of them like? Quick. No, we just you just drink some of him. Some See, of I would feel this would be a yeah, relevant time. Do I need to drink actually? all five? No, I think we just need to. He said, no, nah, I think we just need to drink one or two. Like we need to drink from all of them. But it doesn't have, because he thought there were five of us. We made five pools, but there's only four of us. One had to drink two. Uh -huh. Just, just, just saying, sheep. Yeah. I think this would be a time where a Volnix would not necessarily trust people that much. No, oh, you you can roll your check and give you a drain point if you want to. Is it a was it a will save? It is a will save. Yes. Hi. I'm gonna, go I'm gonna willingly take a check as well from a militant side or attack this thing. All right. <coughs> can you attack it though? I can shoot lightning that, at it. That is probably a success. Can I shoot lightning at a ship? Uh, not from this distance. I mean, is he high oh, enough wow. up to actually shoot? Like, is if you run right, like straight below him, you could probably hit him. But he might just run away if you charge at him. Then we'll never find that lady. Or find out what this water does. Okay, so I rolled and I succeeded. I assume that's a success. I don't know what that should be. Yes. 
So you feel you can if you really want to kind of trust what he's saying? Can I, can I do a will save as well because he's telling me to drink it? But he's you definitely, certainly can, yes. He's definitely weaker than me. He definitely is, yes. Like, I don't have to listen to you, mister. <laughs> oh, 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 all of the dragon sense is kicking in. It's a will save as well, right? Yes. Probably a success. Yep, yep that's a success. And it's also a success. Now, should we drink the same water or not? Dragon points everywhere. Except for Ryan. I roll one to not bully him, so... Yeah, you already did roll one? To not bully him. Yeah, if I mm. failed, I had to bully him. Why do you have you given me two of these poisons? Ah, oh, that is so unfair. <laughs> because you went here. The strongest yeah. of body, anyway. Fine, I'll Fine. drink them. I'll drink both. You have the Let's highest go. Con. Let's drink. go. Let's go. We're all drinking. All right, you, you sip, all sip, sip. drink at the same time. Yes. Mm -hmm. Then I would like fortitude saves from all of you and two from Terexus. <laughs> of course. No. <laughs> this is why I drink the, the light pool. Let's see, yeah, let's let's do a Volnix first. You drink. Fire! <laughs> the the pool a Volnix has, has chosen is you know it's probably not his taste because it's it's rather spicy and warm, but nothing else really. Uh, let's see, this one is from Terexus. The pool here on the end is a bit muddy. There is indeed sand in there, and it tastes like nothing, really. Rachaix, you drink this pool, and as the pleasantly cold liquid runs down your throat, the forest becomes as crystal clear as the water was, and you can see for what it is, what it really is. The grass is frozen spikes of black ooze digging into your feet and drawing blood. The branches are writhing tentacles, covered in mouths, snapping at you and each other. The leaves are a mass of gleaming razor blades, reflecting the violent churnings of a black sky overhead. Your companions on the other end are mere shadows, clouds of nauseating energy with gleaming red eyes. You are panicked. Since you cannot run on away... Top of this pillar. <laughs> since you cannot run away, you will try to go wherever you feel is safest in this area. Push down the water thing and then sit on top of the pillar. Inavox, on the other hand, uh, you taste a slightly tail aftertaste to that particular liquid that seems to intensify very, very quickly. It's liquid at first, but then almost solidifies as it is, as it is a really very unpleasant sensation in your stomach, as if something is trying to crawl out. You are nauseated. Uh, Terexus, I... as he d tries to drink the last pool... The mud, basically, if you can even tell, it, uh, if you can even call it a liquid, tastes of fertile earth. And as you drink it, the grass around you grows rapidly, wrapping itself around your legs and squeezing. You are paralyzed. He's killed me. <laughs> you you hear a snapping of fingers from fingers from the sprite as all the effects that you have just encountered simply disappear immediately. As the sprite oh. sighs. I told you this would be much more fun if you did it one after the other, but no. t just collapses on the ground, He's leaving. A monster! <laughs> <laughs> Trickery and betrayal! What are you the... talking about? The water just was too hot. While the... Like this one. <laughs> While the negative after effects fade immediately, both t and Avolnix do feel somewhat, well... Not exactly content, but certainly slightly empowered by what they have just drunk. You both get the bless effect for 24 hours. Okay. Yeah, this was no fun like this. I mean, you just kind of laid there for a while. I and then trusted you, know. you. Ah! You fed me poison. It wasn't poison, not exactly. What are you talking Something. about? I know I can try and breathe at him. He, you, you can try, but he ran away rather quickly. I'm gonna freaking kill you! When? when I'm get... sorry, I'm sorry! I, I said I had to test you, and I did, and you when? succeeded! Congratulations! When? When You're we not get... sorry! When we get bigger, when we get more powerful, this forest burns! Yes, all of it! It's a monstrous forest, a horrible forest! 
What are you talking about? It wraps no, around you and strangles you. Horrible monster grass that wants to eat you. Strangle me. It <laughs> looks down at the grass and shudders. Pestle isn't touching it. I mean, did you like it at least? I spent no. a lot of effort on this. Oh, bastard. All right, I, I mean... Pray that you not grow old. I, I do feel slightly empowered, however. He sort of breathes in a little bit. Yes. I, it is as if I can see things a little clearer somehow. I saw it much clearer. Not, not pleasant. Not pleasant. Drink some of this if you want to see more. He looks at it. No, no, thank you. I have had it down. quite enough. Yeah. Horrible. I mean, oh, it's it's drink. If it helps, the next puzzle is for me. Well, another... my stand is pretty harmless. No, no, more, no puzzles. more puzzles. We are done here. At least look at the next one, all right? No. Just, just look. No. <sighs> really? No. Please. I will never look at it. Just a peek. Trade us. I trusted you. I mean, you did this because yes. of you. When I have become big, bigger, all sprites will be my slaves. Oh my! I mean, you have to admit that this was a pretty good test. I mean, no. If if if, at least I see what, what you're name? really like now, and I'm not particularly right? impressed. Okay, because of what you said, all sprites will be my dinner. That's even worse, actually. You made it worse. No, nope. show oh. us the way. Direct. All right. I mean, the direct way would be straight towards the next puzzle, at least, and uh, we can take a detour. It's not dangerous. Dinox just grinds his teeth again. If you continue talking, Sprite, I will hunt you down to the very end of the earth. I mean, you've already kind of promised to do that. At least one of you has. Doesn't matter if a second one does, does it? We can't start burning this forest right now. It would be a foolish thing if you want to stay in the lady's good graces. Well, maybe if he employs such as you, maybe he won't. Could you repeat that? Well, if he employs such as you, then maybe we don't. Oh, I'm not employed. I'm just doing the lady a favor, you know? So Give killing you won't actually affect what the lady thinks of us. That is good to know. Yeah, uh, I mean, technically. On the other hand, you kind of came to the forest and just started taking things. Expecting the forest to do work for you. I actually I mean, pick up a stick and then light it with spark. All right. Could you, could you not... Just, I'll promise you this. Just, just see what I have to offer next, and then if you don't like it, we'll leave immediately. There will be no harm, no, no potential harm even. We heard that before. No, you haven't. You've only asked if this puzzle would hurt you, and it did not. Not permanently, not actually. It did. You come down and you drink all this water. You know what? I'll do it. Only if you step away. Because I, I don't quite trust you. I wonder if you know what's being said. He's just, he just amused at how, how, how crazy you guys are being. Okay, so just, he's probably just going to drink all the water. See the, the sprite coming out of a tree. Sitting on this pool. <laughs> glancing at you. As the sprite does take a sip, kind of a a as if tasting a particularly good wine, kind of licking his lips. I mean, this one is slightly too sandy for my taste. And not that one. That's not the worst one. No, wh which one then? That one. Oh, you think that that's my best one? I agree. See, he drinks this one, and you do see his, his pupils almost dilate, indicating that he might have failed or is at least seeing the same things that you were seeing as he is simply fascinated by it looking around smiling broadly oh yes I, this really is my best work isn't can we it? take our surprise route now or 
I'm ready to strike. Say the word. I'm ready. Fucking like we just him. knock him out and then we we squeeze him between our hands <laughs> to make him <laughs> squeeze him until he breaks his little bones. Yeah, I agree. To make him show. Our way. We're gonna rip off his wings so he can't. No, like we don't want to hurt him too much because he is a sending of this lady person. And if we yeah, actually want to meet dare. her, I think she does. And if we actually want to meet her, then we probably shouldn't mistreat him too we much. We just but... tell her an accident happened and his wing fell off. Well, I kind of certainly don't want to, kind of want to take the choice here. I'm ready. So I'll forgo I, whatever um, it is, but I'm just, I, just asking you guys if you really want this, this I the time. I succeeded my will to say not to kill him, so for now, he is safe from the dragon rage. Just drink the water. Now the next one. Drink the next one now. This one? All right. I mean, this one's pretty bad, I agree, but... I mean, all right. Quick succession. He takes a sip and looks rather sick very quickly. As More of that one. As he snips his own finger and looks perfectly normal as before. Yeah, this one is pretty bad, I agree, but it's not actual pain. It's just, you know, you feel as if. It's a difference. Mine was just spicy. There's nothing wrong with it. Oh, oh, this one, this one, this one over here would have just made you sleep. It's probably not the worst one, Drink really. that one, then. Show but, me that that's what it does. I can't wake myself up if I go to sleep. We will wake you up, don't worry. I don't trust you. We, we promise we trust to you. wake you up. All right, let, let, me, let me make a proposition here. I will drink this pool, and I will go to sleep to show you that it really does that. But you will agree to see my next puzzle. Just see it, not do it. Just see. We're going right. to kill him, yes. right? I, I will do that. Right. He takes his hand, his hands even makes like a little cup, takes some of the water, disappears into the trees. Motherfucker! Right. I, I'm drinking it now. He lied. I am drinking it. We should just leave right now. Just. I'm sure this forest lady would be pleased that he scared us away. Just before I drink this, make sure not to wander away because you'll get lost forever. That's how this well, forest works. Well, come out here so we can see you. You would just eat me. I'm not stupid. We would not eat you. You don't look appetizing at all. But you're angry at me because you don't like my puzzles. You would like the next one, I'm sure. The one well, after that, uh, I mean... You have to trust us in order for us to trust you. That's not how that works. It is. Well, I'm not getting lost in this forest. Yeah, but you could just go back out now. I mean, if you want to, we could just go straight to the lady, but she'll be disappointed in me. Do you really want that? Do you want the lady to be disappointed in me? Yes. All right. Then let's just go straight there. All right, then. But you have to promise not to attack me again. I will not. I have never done so. All of you. Especially that blue one. Betrayed my trust, but... I will, promise, I will promise not to attack you for 24 hours. No, that's good enough, I suppose. That white one can't even understand me, can he? How can he? How can he appreciate my puzzles if, if she can't? If he can't understand? Have been no one can co no appreciate worry. them. Well, I let's, did. Let's put this behind us and move. All right, let's move on. He shoots over the tree and leads you slightly this way into the forest. We follow. You follow. We'll ask once more if you really don't want to see his puzzles. So, uh, just I think, be a right I think we will snap at him quite like jaws, just you know, just biting in the air. All right, all right. Whatever you you did one of them. You didn't have to, but you agreed to do it, and you did. It was disappointing to say the least, but whatever. Very. And he will I indeed. We really had something, you and I. <laughs> I mean, the puzzle was everything I. Told you it would be. No, but it wasn't. He, 
he it's will lead you through the forest, a winding route, seemingly sometimes taking like five right turns in a row, but not really leading Straight. you in circles, as you can tell, anyways. Wasting our time on purpose. The forest is changing around you, getting denser and denser by, well, the step, really. And even in the advanced autumn, the trees do look rather healthy, with little sign of their leaves falling off anytime soon. As you get into the deepest, darkest parts of the forest, eventually I'll move you to a different map. What's going here, foolish idea? Are you asking me? Because no. <laughs> I freaking hate sprites. Remember Cash Sprite? She never said anything. Because mm. Cash didn't make a mouth on her. It's like sewn together. Yeah. Let me reveal this. I hope I can. Oh, that's a oval. Sit like this. I kind of liked it as an oval. He leads you deep, deep into the forest. You're walking for an hour or two with his occasional comments being the only, well, real discernible sound. There's, of course, the sound of birds and other animals just running through bushes and whatnot. But you don't see any of them, surprisingly enough. And as you come here into... Not exactly a glade, but a, a small overgrown hill. The sprite just flies forward, sits on a branch, and takes a deep bow directed at the hill. It says, I brought them here, lady, but I have to say they are rather rude. And as she does, uh, as the sprite says that, you see distinct movement in the hill. As one of the forest hill Forest hills lifts up, taking with it entire trees. Earth and leaves are raining as the hill turns towards you, slowly revealing the shape of the head of an enormous dragon, the body of which undoubtedly still covered by the forest. Its faded and brittle scars are covered with leaves and bark, the roots of trees and bushes growing on top and most likely into its body. Lady Ashwood turns her head towards you. The trees creaking and cracking, and then stills. The sounds of birds have disappeared, but the birds have not fled. They are watching you in silence, as is the entire forest. Hello there, younglings. I've seen that you have accepted my invitation. I am Lady Ashwood. It is not my true name, of course, but that has been long since forgotten. I don't know if this is too much to ask, but can do you can you show the entire picture of her? Uh, no, I cannot. Oh, okay. What you see is basically the neck and head of a dragon, entirely made out of bark and wood, with trees growing out of it, watching you rather intently with eyes that are, well, not eyes exactly, as they don't have any eyeballs, but they certainly look like something that is watching you rather intently. Can I do an arcana check to identify what type of dragon this is? You can. In can fact, all of you could do that because that is something you can do untrained. What a dumb six. So what is check is that? Uh, if you don't have a trained, it would intelligence be plus intelligence four. plus four. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Nerd. I know. <laughs> Uh, 23. It is incredibly hard to tell, even for Einavox. She is only sure that it is... was probably a different kind of dragon at some point. And it, or she rather, must be incredibly old. She's a really old dragon that turned into a tree. What a terrible fate. <laughs> <laughs> Tyraxus takes a, a half step forward and he says <gasps> Ancient One you have freed us from the clutches of Pili the wizard and we have come at your behest now please tell us why 
did you set us free? Why did you deign to interfere in the wizard's plans? What have we done to garner such august attentions? And he actually makes a slight little bow towards her. She, she gives a, a barely perceptible bow as she turns to the sprite and asks, Finian, how did they fare in your, well, tests? Oh, my lady, they, they, they skipped most of them, really. They didn't really like them. I see. Well, they are rather cruel, usually, aren't they? I do have to apologize for little Finian here. He did what he could. It was supposed to be, well, the person you have already met escorting you to me, but he is, in fact, missing. As for your question, it is simple and difficult. You see, I have been preventing his magic from finding you, as well as the magic of others, as she glances at Rotex. Jack bows and scrapes. <laughs> Should the wizard manage to recapture you, he will not let you escape again. I don't know the details of his plans, but I do know that Vincent insists that said plans are close to completion, and I do know that they both involve you and me. It is one could argue out of self-preservation that I had let, had set you free. Although I do have to admit that it was Vincent who actually convinced me to set you free instead of just re removing you, I am not entirely sure if that wouldn't have been the better choice. You have come into this forest, threatened, burned, and attacked my minions, and now you expect me to continue helping you. I have little choice, I will, but you have just lost your only excuse, ignorance. The forest, I have a, little, a simple rule, give and take, balance. You have wanted the forest to do the work for you, you have let patrols into it. They have been taken care of, lost, never to return. And yet, you have not given the forest anything back in return. It is something to consider. I am not threatening you. There would be no point leaving you for the wizard to find. And it would be rather foolish, wasteful, to let you wander this forest never to return either. You see, without Vincent, I am unable to act. My power is great, but it is difficult and inadvisable, inadvisable for me to affect the world beyond the forest. Should the wizard ever enter my borders, no power in this world will be able to save him. On what? the other hand, yes? What does Vincent have to do with you? Many things. He, among others, was supposed to be a sacrifice for me, for the forest. Strange beliefs the humans have, leaving food, craftsmanship, and even their infants in dire times at my borders. I care little for those gifts, at least the living ones. They often just get eaten by my inhabitants. Vincent, on the other hand, he adapted, even as an infant. I decided to take an interest. He has served me well ever since. It was his idea to start acting. I am not one who acts often. I simply decide to endure, usually, but that only works against those who are ignorant of my existence. The wizard is not. As for your purpose, my purpose for you, well, it is rather little. I am only interested in your own well-being, as it were. <coughs> the wizard will try to recapture you. You are essential to his plans. Without you, they would be at least delayed considerably. I think that he will do much to capture you. 
I think that he will do much to continue weakening me. I think he will do much to complete whatever it is he is planning. And while Vincent was yet unable to figure out exactly what those plans were, I know they would be bad. The wizard is unlike other humans. He does not hurt me out of self-preservation or even ignorance. Every of his actions against me is and was deliberate. He observes me from a distance, sends agents to study my reactions. He has poisoned streams, set fire to my trees, and sent parties not to hunt, but to kill every, any living thing they see. All these things simply to see how much I would be willing to intervene. intervene. Lady Ashwood, ancient one, great one, we have observed some of these uh, creatures, perhaps, a camp of humans and dwarves uh, logging in the uh, northern part of the forest. Yes, I've felt them. Perhaps then, as recompense for our uh, rude behavior earlier, we can take care of them for you. That would be acceptable. Although, especially you, little blue one, do be aware that if you threaten a tree, you threaten me. He blinks a little bit lower as he said. Understood, ancient one. I, I it never is just that. It is at times like when your uh, vassal is speaking to me that my patience is tested somewhat. At least today, that was the point. To test you, to see how you're truly like. This talk you're doing here is not convincing me. Anything said within my borders, I hear. I know what looks confused is not to be um, inconsiderate, but I don't understand what you mean that we have used your forest and heard it. We haven't done anything to your forest. You have taken a rather significant detour meant to lead those who were chasing you astray. You wanted the forest to do work for you to take care of these, and the forest did. In return, you did very little apart from harassing little Finian over here. He is what he is. Finian looks ashamed at that. But he tried to poison us. His tricks never were never able to hurt you. And we didn't know what else we could have done when we were running for our lives from those people and we didn't know if they were going to hurt the forest. We basically just hoped that they would leave when we entered the forest. Uh, by the way, DDS, this conversation is in Draconic. I assumed so, because okay. it's a dragon. Yeah. She, she continues, yes, and as it was, Finian has saved your life. This forest, it is not just a forest. You do not enter it at the north side and exit at the south side. It is a maze, even for those who are capable. Does Einavox know about this? She's lived in the forest. Uh, Einavox does not know about Lady Ashwood or the properties of the inner woods by themselves, but she does remember her father making remarks about something that now makes sense. What remarks are those? Uh, remar uh, there was one definitive instance that Einavox was, uh, would remember. It is that traveling scholars have met your father at his lair at some point, bringing with them a wagon full of gold and books, a offering to let them use his library. But they confu they had a little misunderstanding as the scholars apparently called your father a guardian of the forest and instead said that the donations would be to the forest. Your father was rather angry at that and chased them away and the next day the wagon full of gold and books that had been left with him 
well, was simply carried by him into the forest. He has also told you that you should stay away from the, from the deeper parts of the forest. Okay, then Einemax looks at her and so you were the one that got the wagon of golden books from my father? Indeed I was. I have little use for these things, but if they are for me, then they are for me. Huh. Give and take. Your father has done his responsibilities, and for that he was allowed to stay. The humans killed him. Yes. It is an offense that I take personally, but there's little I can do. So as long as we stay within the... You're muted, Manikai. So as long as we stay within this wood, we are safe. You misunderstand what I am, little one. The forest is not gentle. Life here is earned. The creatures that would disagree with your presence here do not care whether I like you or not. I do not control them. I am the forest. At least safe from the wizard. You would be, in a sense, as safe as you would be anywhere else. If you were wanting to stay within my borders, you would have to fight as fights every other living thing in here. It is a savage world. Do not be. Do not misunderstand. So how does one give to the forest? That is for everyone themselves to decide. An action, a gift. Your friend okay. over there has suggested to take care of the humans currently chopping down trees at the north border. While their offense is minor thanks to their ignorance, they should be stopped. There's also the matter of Vincent. He has not returned ever since he freed you. We didn't kill him. We did as he asked and we, we locked him in a cage, but I don't think he died of that. Why would you lock your savior in a cage? He told us to make it it look like that we had overthrown him. We thought that would make it believable. And we wanted to protect him from the giant lizard we also let out in the basement. That too. We, left, we let a lizard out and put him in the cage so he wouldn't get hurt. I see. It is interesting that you would feel like I am accusing you right away. Right away. But... I will not investigate any further. Matter well, of fact, he is still missing, regardless of whether it was caused by your actions or not. But I thought that no matter what we did, he, the, the wizard wouldn't believe him because we did try to get out of the cage and none of our means were able to get through the cage. The wizard would know that we, someone else had let us out. What you're saying does not bring Vincent back. But we didn't harm him, at least not more than he asked us to. Still, you were looking for a way to repay the forest. Bringing Vincent back would be a great boon indeed. And it is something that you might want to have happen anyways. He okay. was the one who saved you after all. But we can't go back to the wizard. Perhaps you do not have to. He is unlikely to keep Vincent in the tower anyways. The tower is not the, uh, is not the wizard's main holding. And we burned it down. I do believe it is still standing. We didn't burn anything down. You try. Oh, you try. Well, that was not the, the main building. That was just the other part of the, his room we burned down. But that was part of the main building. Yeah, but it's made of stone. Okay. Castle's burned down. Probably not with just one lantern. Start somewhere. 
it is a rather ironic situation because Vincent cannot stay in the wizard's possession. He knows a lot and he will use his knowledge to keep himself alive as is what he is allowed to. But by making himself valuable, he inevitably has to give away information about me, about you. And so where as it would were, we find him? I do not know. I do, however, know something else. The wizard is not honorable, but he is not someone who breaks his word easily. At least, Vincent insists. Something very few people know is that the wizard has offspring. A daughter, I believe. She lives in the same town that Vincent has taken his home in, although under a different name. Security through obscurity, I think Vincent assumed it was. Perhaps a trade could be arranged. Hmm. Tiraxos smiles to himself. I like it. Yes. You want to us Let to us. bring your him his daughter to you. Yes. Although the exchange would have to happen outside of my borders, unless you can convince the wizard to enter the Ashwood's borders. It I is unlikely, however. I convince him to do anything. I want to stay as far away from him as possible. Alone, he might not be a threat to you, especially if you have his daughter captive. He will, however, be a significant threat if he keeps Vincent. It will also mean that, while you have not yet agreed to do anything, you would be my only agents. My only way to affect the outside world. There's little time left. I can only keep the forest flowering for so long. Winter is approaching. The forest has to sleep. It will leave me vulnerable. And if the wizard's plans are indeed as close to completion as they seem to be, that will be the time he strikes. What is his... What is it he wants to do? Why did I he capture us? Do not know, I am afraid. Vincent was never be able to enter his private chambers and whatever writings he would have had would have meant nothing to him. I do, however, feel his attention. It is palpable. His intentions full of malice. It is not something I think he realizes I can't feel. But there's something he wants to do, and he needs me for it. Are you stuck here? I am the forest. Are you a dragon? Perhaps I once was. It is difficult to tell. Answer me a question then. Perhaps that will make it more understandable. Do you remember your first breath? Your first moments? Uh, uh, rather clearly. Perhaps you are the exception. Moments are fleeting things, so short compared to everything else. You do not think about the steps you take, the breaths you take, the bites you take, occasionally, I suppose. It is the same for me, except moments are lifetimes. Perhaps my first lifetime was indeed spent as one of you. One of one like you, but I do not remember. Very well then. So we are searching for a woman in some place with some name whom we don't know what looks like. 
she should reside in a manor just east of the town that Vincent called home. I do believe it was just south of the tower. I have little more information to give you, but I do believe it should be enough. Once we have her, what do you actually suppose we do? You contact the wizard and arrange an exchange. This sounds Con like suicide. Contacting the wizard also is so it's easier to say than to do. How do you propose we do that? If you decide to enter his daughter's home, I would assume that it is rather easy to leave a message that he will not misunderstand. And once he has his daughter back, and we have Vincent, then what? Then the deal is complete. Then he will attack us. Perhaps. And I we find will it die. unlikely. I find it likely. If you manage to arrange the meeting close to my borders, I may be able to protect you. Besides, he is not very interested in your death. Your corpses, I assume, would not be as valuable as you are alive. No. I have no intention of being captured again, though. I don't want to be captured either. Well, I have every intention of getting Vincent back. Do you really don't have any other agents than him? <laughs> what a, about him? A glance to Finn. Right. He is. You could do it. Unreliable, although for simple tasks he may suffice. Finian nods vigorously. He could find a name, a location. He can turn Sorry. invisible. He could do it a lot easier. He is rather adept at hiding in the forest. In buildings, not so much. You saw me when I came in. I am not very adept at hiding anywhere. If you think you have use for him, that does not involve you hurting him in any way whatsoever. Then you can use his services. Does he even know the city? The directions should be simple. Well, if you could go there and find out where this person is and what her name would be. That would be a good start. But none of that should really reveal him to anyone. I do not remember what Vincent told me exactly. 